Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video, man. Listen, this is the lowest mileage, lowest mileage original Fifth Avenue of its kind in the world. And the reason I smile about this is because this was a personal experience for me as well. I was selling cars in the 80s. Uh, I've been uh, around cars uh, my whole life. It's all I've ever done. And so when I went to go in the interview for the dealership, they were selling Chrysler's there. I was selling Dodges for a lot less money. And so I went to go to the dealership, and this guy was delivering this car, like, underneath the canopy to this couple, and it was very expensive for his time. I was like, oh, my God, how am I ever going to sell these cars uh, at these prices? But as we got into it, these things were amazing. They drive so nice. With that engine and transmission, it's been around for uh, almost 50 years, the 318 with the, uh, the 727 transmission, all that stuff. Just beautiful driving cars. Now, to throw in the fact that this right here has been so well kept, it is a time capsule. It belongs in a museum. If these cars ever become collector items in the sense that they become $100,000 cars, they will use this car here uh, to restore the other cars because it's so unmolested and everything is so original in it. So if you really want something like this, this is the car to get. Not to mention, it is great looking and loaded to the gills with options, all right? So we're gonna take a walk around. I'm gonna show you electronically how I metered the car. You know, lots of people say, well, this is an original paint car, original this, original that. They can say whatever they want. The electronic meter will show us exactly that it is original, and that is uh, exactly how you want to do that so you can verify it that way. All right, so this is a paint meter we use mostly for modern cars to see if they've had any paint work done, like if they've been in a car accident or something like that. Might not always be on the Carfax. By the way, this has a clean Carfax. Uh, and a one owner Carfax is what I bought it from the original family who wanted uh, to find the next enthusiast who could take it on. So this, what it does is it measures the mills of thickness. So this says 3.5 and you can go too higher than that or too below it to be original paint. So 5.5 or down to 1.5 would say it's original. When it jumps up to 9, 10, and 12, we know it's had paint done to it. A body shop doesn't care how thick the paint is. What they care about is it looks good and it matches. This lets us know if that's been painted. So here we do this one here. Here we have 4.0, here we have 5.0, 4.0, This is amazing just to see this happening. So we're really looking at uh, originality. This is uh, 2019 that we're doing this video. This car's from 1985. 3.5. It's not uncommon for the cars to get thinner paint as you go farther back as they were being painted down the assembly line, but it's so close and such a close match. There you go. That's amazing. All right, so come on, let's take a peek under here. So circa 1980s, these were the cars that we were selling back then, and they were just reliable because they didn't have a lot of stuff, right? This has, uh, the, and we talked about the 318 engine, but it's the detail under here. This is all original, man. All these decals, all these stickers, the original paint is underneath here. You could go to a car show and this would be spectacular. It even has the fender tag here. They stopped that later on, but this is how they built the cars uh, in, the, in the early 60s, 70s, and 80s. This has all the option codes on here to let you know this is the way this car was built and loaded with things like power windows and power seat and cruise control, air conditioning, all those modern things. Everything works just like it's supposed to. All right, so let's peek in here. So this is what these cars were known for. The size of the trunk, you could really go away. Comes with a car cover, right? Look how beautiful the carpet still has the shine inside here. The original spare tire is in here. Never been on the ground, right? Still has the little nipples all the way around it still date coated, still soft and supple. This must have been kept in a, in a some sort of heated and air conditioned environment because once we get inside the interior, the interior is truly as new an interior as it was a circa 1985, it's just fabulous. All right, so come join me in here because this right here, although the paint is spectacular on the car, this right here is the key to uh, how beautiful it is. The leather is so supple and soft still. The carpets are that really soft kind of, look at what happens when you, when you push them the other way. These are the original floor mats in the car. This is 2019 we're talking about, circa 1985 original floor mats. Cassette, 
Go on eBay, get yourself a nice Santana cassette or something from the 80s that you might have liked, right? Tilt wheel, cruise control, 10,672 real deal miles. The headliner is in great shape. The interior is just fabulous, man. I just love this. It's just so, so well taken care of. I'm not sure I could ever take care of a car this well. Power seat works, power windows, all that stuff. Uh, it's just a real time capsule. All right, so let's close up the video on this time capsule. We are talking, uh, first off, forget the originality for the second. It's a beautiful car. The two-tone tuxedo black radiant silver paint. Uh, this interior in the light gray matches beautifully. The updated, I'm sorry, the optional alloy wheels that would have been on the car, but little things like air in the tire from the 1980s is still in there. The original paint, the original uh, engine, the matching numbers, engine and transmission, the, the interior, the fact that all of those things are working the way they're supposed to. It is so well kept. I get so excited about this. I know you're saying, well, Tony, it's not a $500,000 LS6 Chevelle or a Ferrari 488, right? You're right. It's not one of those cars, but it is a time capsule. And if you rode around with your grandparents, or your parents on one of these cars, or you couldn't afford one at the time, and uh, now you can, this is a great, great car to get there. You're gonna continue to go up in value, especially low mileage original cars. Call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this great, great Chrysler Fifth Avenue. I enjoy making money and spending it, but not foolishly. I drive Chrysler Fifth Avenue. Even with all its standard features and comfortable big car ride, it's still priced less than Buick Electra or Olds 98 Regency. And it's the only car at its price with a 550 protection plan. Chrysler Fifth Avenue. It just may be the finest luxury car value in the country. And uh, I never argue with success. Go with the winner, Metter Chrysler Plymouth in Fort Worth. When I was a kid, I promised myself when my ship came in, I'd go first cabin all the way. Well, it did, and I am, like my Chrysler Fifth Avenue. My Chrysler Plymouth dealer said, compare Fifth Avenue for standard luxury features or a 550 protection plan for price. Fifth Avenue is priced hundreds less than Buick, Electra, or Old 98. It may be the best luxury car buy around and first cabin all the way. For Southern California Chrysler Plymouth dealer today.